beaver when no one is big beaver come on over gonna have a good time when no one is good beaver but no one is big beaver that's not the song that we're doing here guys I just wanted to show off my new bass guitar what I got I'm gonna learn how to play this and what better band to do than Primus if you're gonna learn how to play the bass old Les Claypool my first scale I learned how to play that I did I learned how to play that guys uh, we're back with the song uh, uh, we're known as Big Brown Beaver we're gonna break all the myths we're gonna go through the lyrics and finally figure the song out you do the same thing as I do when you're hearing the song you know the he 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 he's and you know when I just got to say oh big brown beaver she's told her off all her friends Everything after that you don't know except for the part where he talks about a seven layer burrito from Del from Taco Bell, which I don't, I, I'm a Del Taco man myself. Going to learn a little bit about this and then enjoy the song together and we will break those those stories. Like uh, uh, Winona Ryder being, uh, being the lady of which they're talking about. They're actually talking about a beaver. Okay, they're not talking about anybody's a beaver, what they used to call it in the 70s, I think. Um, top five jams from these guys. These are the ones I would know. Jerry was a race car driver. 73 million plays. My name is Mud. 53 million plays. John the Fisherman, I recognize that a bit. And of course, right coming in there, 37 million is Tommy the, uh, is uh, Wine on his Big Brown Beaver, and I also love Tommy the Cat. A uh, couple of things. Let's learn a little bit about Winona's Big Brown Beaver, the song. I even looked up, do people, has anyone ever had a beaver as a pet? It says yes. Some people have beavers as pets, but beavers are generally not considered good pets and are often prohibited by law. Why? Beavers are not good pets. Some say beavers are demanding, dirty, assertive. That could count for a family member, too. A can, uh, a can a, and can modify furniture and eat through doors. They also defecate in water and want to be wild. They want to do those things. Winona's Big Brown Beaver is a song by the American rock band Primus. Very eclectic, avant-garde, fun. There's no bands that sound like Primus, right? It was released, the first single from the 1995 album Tales from the Punch Bowl. Nominated for a Grammy for Best Rock Performance, Hard Rock Performance, 1996. On the, on the band's three, of the band's only three members, Larry Lalonde showed up at the event. Uh, he was the only one. And they lost to Pearl Jam for the Spin the uh, Black Circle. Now, you're going to go, no, Shane, it wasn't Winona Ryder they were talking about. It was Winona Judd. Well, here's the story right here. Music journalists suspected that Winona was about actress Winona Ryder. Herself supposedly confronted the band about it backstage at the HFS festival. Claypool had stated that the song was not written about anyone in particular, especially Ryder and was surprised when he was asked about the country singer Winona Judd instead. And I do remember that being something. Considering the song's country music influence and the name being pronounced with a Y in there, which is closer to the Judd's name. Uh, they, did the, they did the music video. Do you remember the music video? And when they, and, and when they uh, in, in the Wikipedia page, they was talking about the, the, the uh, what was the name of the, the plummets? Something like that. The, the costumes that, that uh, they wore in the Primus video was from those Duracell commercials. Ah, we shared a one-room apartment! Herb, did you slip her one of those other kinds of batteries? Me? Anyways, let's get into this. Uh, we've got it all queued up, and I've got it ready to go. I hope you enjoyed that little bit about uh, the, of me playing on the bass. I, I think that's great. This is for David McFarlane. I think I didn't uh, hit his comment and say we're going to do this, but uh, uh, we're doing it. Post punk rush spiked with this with the sensibility of humor of Frank Zappa. Primus songs are often secondary in showcasing their instrumental prowess, led by e uh, elastic bassist and sole constant member Les Claypool with those haunting eyes, those beautiful eyes of his. That's just he's a human. He says. Hello, I mean you no harm. I wish you well. I love you. I mean, it's just the face of, uh, of a thousand, you know, those eyes just say, I'm a good guy, man. I like to fish. I like to funk out on the bass. 
I'm hoping at some point I can learn one of their tunes. On the bass guitar, which I have now, let's get into it. Here we go. Hey. Makes me want to reach for that. I'm not going to... Is it Taco Bell? Del, Del Taco is the, my, my go-to's. Could you imagine me playing this? Could you imagine me playing this song on that freaking bass? Now someone's gonna say, yeah, Shane, that was an acoustic bass. You know what? It's also electric and acoustic, so I can plug it in if I want to. And it's not the only one I'm ever gonna own. But could you imagine me ripping this bass line right now? Amazing, right? It would be amazing. Great drummer, great Larry Lalonde, guitar, all just great. So she caged him up the cyclone fence. Oh wait, there was another line I wanted to read in those in those things because there was lines that had to be changed. Guys, I apologize for that, but we need to get to the breaking news. There was lines that were changed. One of the song lyrics was edited in the music video, the original line, but the beaver was quick and grabbed him by the Kiwis, and he ain't pissed for a week and a half. I don't know what the end and a half, and a half is. There's that, and a half. Uh, and that's the, that's the line I would always sing. So let, we'll see if it's in this uh, version of the song. It was replaced by the beaver was quick and grabbed him by the kiwis and he egg pressed for a week. Is that something? Do you guys remember that? This is a whimsical fun song to play. I love the way they write the tunes. They're very good. Travel with the carnival shows. Yeah, all of them do that. He got a wind of the big brown beaver, so he thought himself he th thought he'd take himself a peek. See, lifting up the curtains, those those circus tents are just ridiculous. You can get in there if you really want to. So that's a real version right there. I'll be like this on that goddamn thing. And I'm learning with my fingers. Now we're not there, take a big down there. Don't you have a pair of them? Interesting solo by Larry. Shocking to the system, yet funky and, and, and effervescent. He makes noises on the bass you could never imagine in your life. You could never do them. I ain't pissed for a week and a half. I, I, I missed that. We're going to... Can we do that? We'll just do that part there, and then we'll go down. Now, I don't took a brown beaver and he stuck him up in there. But I just want to see where he says, and a half. Oh, he's and a half. All right. Now we'll go to here. This big brown beaver and I wish I did have a fire. Yeah, I know all this. That is one of those, what do you call those? Innuendo songs? 
it's supposed to be about something, and then they have a silly ending that is even different than the thing. She never had a goddamn beaver. Went on and had a big brown porcupine because she pricked her fingers on it. And that's the fun of the song. Is you're like, wait a minute, they've done a, a whole song here about Winona's big brown beaver, and you're telling me at the very end it occurs to her she might have had a porcupine? That's insane. <laughs> And that just sounds, bluegrass is all get out of town. Come on. Just the nicest guy. I bet you Les Claypool is, he looks like the, the train conductor for like a kid's show or something. Like if, like if, uh. If uh, 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 George Carlin hadn't become the train conductor on that train show, he, Les Claypool could. Because he has those wonder, wondrous eyes. Those eyes that say imagination is alive and well, and life is good, and you can, if you dream it, it can happen. But he's also an amazing, eclectic bass player. He tried out for Metallica. Did you know that? Um, but uh, just just a delight. Just a delight. Uh Let's get out of here with a, a round of a... Now, Winona took a big brown beaver and she stuck her up in the... Well, let's get out of that solo. Come on. Let's keep going. Come on. And they could just freestyle jam all day if they wanted to. Is that Ted? Alexander on the drums there. He's... I mean, just a delight. What's a tail from the punch bowl got on it? Great ending. I forgot about the ending here. Got it right. All right. I need to know, I need you guys to get down there and tell me your, your top five Prima songs because I think that's up there. I think Tommy the Cat is up there for me. I, I do like uh, uh, My Name is Mud, too. Uh, and if you're looking at these guys right here and you're saying they aren't kind of wacky freaks, they've got a giant blow-up rubber ducky back there and they're dressed like this, of course, they're fun freaks. They like to have fun. They don't like to cause a muss, a guff, or any kinds of trouble at all. What say you? Tell me all your fun stories about Primus if you could do that. Uh, if you'd like to give me any bass tips, I'd appreciate that too. I learned that scale of, as you saw me do. And then I realized you could work it all the way up the neck. See, I'm, I'm going to learn all the notes. But then I can move it up. Fuck you. Get down there, tell me what you think of that, all right? Strike it out. Here we go. Hey, 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 h